and today we're going to talk about what's in our grooming bag. Now, full disclosure, I am no professional groomer, but we do get asked about what tools we use, so I wanted to make a what's in my grooming bag video. So if you want to see what is in our current grooming bag, then keep on watching. Dude. All right, so this is our ringside bag, but I've put our brushes in here. I have a whole other video we could do on show stuff, but this is just the basic, our kind of brushes and other products type of thing that is not show related. A Chris Christensen ringside bag, and those are available on Cherry Brook, and I will link those down below. All right, first we'll go over combs, and this is the first comb, and I use this all the time. I got this a long time ago from PetSmart or something like that, but um, it's held up, it's sturdy, the tines have not come off, and it really gets all the way to the skin, which I love. So if you can find a huge, big, sturdy comb, it has a good weight to it. I love this comb. Now for more tedious, or for more time-consuming brushes, these can be a little more um, wearing on your hands, and you will start to feel it. Now these um, are nice if you have a lot of joint pain and pain in your hands after a long time of brushing. These wooden combs are great. Now I got these from a dog show, but this one is the Top Performance brand. Another one with a wooden handle that I like is the Martha Stewart brand, and I think they're at PetSmart. This one is another one. It has a metal band, and it has really, really um, short width. Times. I, don't, I don't even know the technical term, but I love this for behind the ears, under the legs, behind the arms, stuff like that where it kind of has a tendency to mat where I can really get that brushed out well. I love something super little like this. Now my newest comb, which I just got in this week, so I haven't been able to test it out, but I have a feeling I'm gonna love it. This, this is the new Panagenics three-way comb, and I got this mainly for show, but it has three different um, lengths to it and I absolutely love the size of it. And if I had to have one product, it would be a comb. I love these for everything. I usually I use these all over the body, whereas a slicker brush I would not use over the body. So I think combs are so great for versatility, for using it on everything. All right, next I want to talk slicker brushes. Now I used to just go over their whole body with slicker brushes and now I do not. Um, stuff I use slickers for are like feathers, tails, um, back of the legs, stuff like that that is um, a little more fine, but I don't, I don't personally go over their whole body with these. I know people that do and that's okay. Now again, I have five slickers. I do not use all of them. These are just ones that I've accumulated. Um, I got this one by Magic Coat and it is a heavy duty slicker brush, really hard times. I have this one um, by, not sure who it's by, but it's a slicker that you push and it pushes all the hair out. Now a trick, if you have hair in a slicker brush, you can always get a comb and it will pull out all the hair out of the slicker brush. This one is by Martha Stewart. It kind of resembles like a horse brush or something like that, but it's a slicker brush. I do not use this, but I loved the color. Um, but yeah, cute, but I don't use it. This one is um, by Oyster, and I kind of like this one in the past. It has a curve to it, so you can really dig in. Now the one I use probably the most, and I use this a lot at shows, is this little tiny little slicker brush. And I love this one for feet, like getting up, um, getting the feet hair to stand up so I can trim it. I use it for the back of the legs. It's just more detailed and I don't feel like the tines are as hard, whatever these are called. I don't feel like these spokes are as hard and so I don't feel like they're pulling out as much coat as the bigger, heavier duty ones made for big dogs. This one is just a little softer and I feel like it's less damaging. So this one I love, it's a tiny one and I got this one from a dog show. Duke is testing my creations today. Those are my slicker brushes. I don't use them all the time, but if I do, it's on the back of the legs, um, on the feet, sometimes I'll pull up the hair, but you can really use a comb for that. And then back of the hair or tail, I mean back of the legs, tail, stuff like that with finer hair that you just really want to separate. I have one rake. I used to use rakes a lot, but my rakes have just really been 
replaced by my big combs like these. Now this will pull out a lot of undercoat and a lot of these have, they have double um, rakes. So rakes are great as well if you're wanting to just really get all that dead undercoat out. Next I want to talk about my next favorite kind of brush which is a pin brush and I feel like these are just um, great for like behind the legs, top of the head, whole body. I love these just in general. Um, I've got three of them, three different sizes, and yeah, I use these a lot, a lot, a lot. So these are great. These are just great for everything. I love pin brushes. The next thing I want to talk about is my matte breaking tools. This one is not a Mars, but they're more commonly known, at, like in the new world, people have Mars Coquings, and they look like this. Now this is a matte breaker and a lot of people use this to thin down coat or um, they are great for breaking mats. So matte breakers are great for if you have mats and you don't want to cut them out and have harsh scissor lines um, like behind the ears or something. These are great for just working mats out. Next I want to talk shears. Now everyone asked what I cut our dogs with. Now I don't, I am no professional and a lot of other people will use different things. Because I am not a professional, I use thinning shears, and that is the best thing to cut everything with without it looking chunky and um, like you just scissor cut their whole body and there's lines everywhere. This really can prevent that. Now, I've got a few pair, but my favorite is the, this pair by Show Gear, and I got this again from a dog show. Now it says Supreme 54T on the back, and I don't know exactly what that means, but I can try to find these and link these below for you. This is what I use for everything. Most of the body I use these and I absolutely love them. I also have a pair of small um, straight shears. Now these I use for like paw pads and stuff like that. They're real small so I can get in between the toes and stuff like that. Now a lot of people use clippers. I just don't trust myself so this is what I use. I also have a toothbrush and I will admit I am not good about brushing their teeth like I should be but we have one. Now for their nails I use a Dremel and I don't have it but I will link it below but in my grooming kit I also have a 360 sprayer and it's made for fly spray for horses so you can turn it upside down um, and it will still spray. I put conditioner in this and I dilute it and I spray it every time I brush them. Now I do this to strengthen the coat, to protect the coat, and not to break the coat. And I also use it to um, protect their hair in the summer when we're doing water rescue. So the conditioner that I use is the Summer Winds Third Step Protect a Coat and I will link this down below. It has sunscreen in it and it's the one with the yellow ribbon and it smells absolutely amazing. I use this as a normal conditioner and I dilute it and spray this on them in the summer and really year round. The shampoo we are currently loving is this Proline Fair Advantage shampoo and it smells absolutely amazing and weeks after they're groomed or they're washed I can still smell this and that is a task for three new. So if I can smell this on Duke when he is as dirty and messy as he is then I know it's an amazing shampoo. So I love this, a few people that I know love this. Um, yeah, this is the shampoo we are currently loving. If you don't have one of these in your kit, you need to get one. This is a Easy All Green horse foamer. You can use any brand of horse foamer, but this is what I use to bathe. Now, I, if I'm not using this, I will dilute it down, dilute the shampoo down in a gallon sized jug, but I always dilute, it just helps I feel like it just helps it dis disperse better. Now, this isn't half the stuff that we have for grooming. Like I said, we have a ton of stuff for show grooming, but that is just kind of the basics of what we use for everyday grooming. So that is it, you guys. That is what's in our grooming bag, and we will catch you in the next one.